hello there and welcome again to the shop so today we're going to do our first test cut it's just going to be a small pocket that I constructed in Cavco Maker Plus in the video preceding this so if you want to see how to um, do a simple tool path in Cavco Maker Plus incidentally it doesn't matter what Cavco program you have uh, it's identical um, to be able to construct a tool path so it doesn't matter whether you've got Maker or Maker Plus or even Cavco the main program so today we are going to do this test cut on this newly finished Jimitsu Prover XL6050 Plus which is an absolutely beautiful made machine and I purchased this from SaneSmart they're the only uh, in fact I think they make this themselves uh, and they are obviously the sole um, distributor of this model uh, and in my case I'm using UGS as a g-code sender program instead of things like Mac 3 so quite simply when you've got everything all started up and the programs talk into the CNC machine okay we'll just jog it just to make sure it is yep that all looks fine so I've got a piece of work just set up here it's just a, a scrap piece of MDF and what we're going to do is we're going to machine a 50 millimeter diameter pocket um, when we have finished machining it we'll measure it up and check it to see if it actually is the 50 millimeter the size that we require um, if it's not we will alter the GRB code in the program to suit you know, to make it the correct size that we want Judging by what I've seen, I think it's already set up perfectly. So the first thing you need to do when you're starting any job with a CNC router is home the router. And you do that quite simply by pressing the little house up here. So the first operation I'm going to do is to put the G-code file into the program. So to do that you come up here to the file open. Uh, the file is located on the desktop. Here it is here. So we'll double click that. Open. Uh, and there it is, it's quite a, a lengthy file. So the next thing we're going to do then is to, to zero our material. So I'll just put the camera down to show you that I am positioned at the zero zero point for the XY coordinate. So, which is right on this bottom corner here, I put the tool uh, just over the edge of that piece of work there, uh, and that would coordinate with uh, the program that we wrote in Cavco. So now I'm going to tell UGS that that is the coordinate that we want to zero. Okay, to make that our zero you come up here to machine action and then come down here to the x zero press that and it goes to zero it's the top numbers that we're looking at uh, again for machine action and y zero 
and now the Z is uh, done with the uh, the little pack that I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've just pos positioned the little Z0 pack here, somewhere underneath the tool, but the end of the tool needs to be within 10 millimeters of the pack, otherwise it'll it'll come down approximately 10 millimeters and uh, it will put an error code up uh, and you, you, you know you, you've previously told or set up your program to say um, go and search for the pack but only search for a distance of 10 millimeters it's just a safety feature you can choose whatever distance you want but 10 millimeters is, is nice and safe so I'm just going to bring that back up uh, bring that down slightly and back a little so we'll come down first uh, we'll slow that up a little bit I think I'm going to alter that to one millimeter per press which I've just done okay well, so that's good enough and we'll go back a fraction in the Y backwards. <coughs> okay, I think you can see that there now. Now I'll just bring you over to the screen and show you what I'm going to be uh, pressing. Down this bottom section here, um, the Z probe is highlighted here. So that's the only thing that's going to uh, be probed. Uh, this is the actual dimensions of the uh, Z uh, probing puck. And this is the distance that I've set in here, minus 10. In other words, it's going to go down uh, 10 millimeters, searching for the probe. And what I'm going to do to initiate it is press this bar here. Uh, so I'll put you back to the end of the tool so you can see that operating. All I'm doing is pushing this. Now to make this work, do not forget to put the crocodile clip on the tool. Make sure it's secure. Otherwise, you could have a crash. Okay, so I'm going to initiate the probing cycle. And that's done. Okay, something I've just noticed that's a little bit, well, weird. Um, yeah, I mean it might be correct, but um, in Cavco, my piece of work is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, but the measurements in UGS is 71.81 from our zero to the outer edge of our cut and the same, pretty well the same uh, from R0 to the top edge. So I'm not um, not really sure why it's done that, whether it's showing how far the tool is actually going to travel over, you know, to give you some sort of measurement that you, you know, you're not going to sort of have a crash into your tie downs. I'm not sure. I would have thought this should have read 100 by 100 to show you the actual the work area. Um, but, you know, this program's new to me as well. So I'm now going to press the cycle start, which is up here, which is this uh, arrow here, and everything should take off. Uh, just ensure that uh, you have your speed turned right up as far as it'll go and the program will uh, operate the RPM on 
the little spindle motor. So sh here we go. Okay, so let's see what uh, this little rotor can make of this. Here we go. Okay, that's done a really, really clean 50 millimeter pocket. Let's just have a look. Ooh, we are a little bit off. That's approximately one millimeter off. So let's just check the X direction. Yeah, it's about a millimeter or so off. That's pretty much the same. Uh, let's do that a little bit better. And that should be reading five millimeters, so that's slightly off as well. So if you get this problem with your machine, I'm going to show you how to correct it. Right, so that pocket is exactly a millimeter out. It's, it's roughly 49 millimeters. Um, so in the next video, I will show you how to correct that situation in UGS because it can be quite uh, complex so I think a, a video devoted solely to that probably warrants it uh, and we'll do all the testing with a, a DTI gauge as well to get it really accurate. So if you've liked this video please like and subscribe that goes a long way with the algorithms uh, and if you really like what I'm doing uh, you could consider becoming a patron to the channel because it's the patrons behind the channel that enable me to make all these videos and you know, purchase these uh, machines because there is no revenue in Google anymore. Okay then, so until the next video, bye for now.